everyone, I'm Adam Harrison, and hanging out here in the woods in western Pennsylvania, and I'm looking for mushrooms today, but it's been kind of dry the past couple of days, so I'm not seeing many mycorrhizal fungi coming up out of the forest floor. And those fungi that I'm looking for would be various bolete mushrooms, I'm seeing some chanterelles, not many black trumpets these days. And so my eyes now are looking at the various woody substrates, either the logs or the standing snags, the ones that house saprophytic mushrooms, some of the choice edible ones. And I found this log right here of an oyster mushroom, a very easy to identify oyster mushroom and one that you may have luck finding sometime this summer. And this one is specifically Pleurotus pulmonarius. Now many people look for oyster mushrooms and they assume that every oyster mushroom they find is that common winter oyster mushroom, which is Pleurotus austriatus, which typically has a grayish brownish cap. And that one fruits from hardwood logs or trees in the winter months or late fall, all the way through early spring. But if you're finding an oyster mushroom this time of year on wood, it might be the species Pleurotus pulmonarius. And that's what I have right here. So that genus Pleurotus represents a lot of oyster mushrooms. And there are estimates between 40 species worldwide all the way up to 202 species of Pleurotus worldwide. This one specifically grows on hardwood logs or stumps this time of year, summer, but you'll find it through fall as well. Pleurotus, that name, means side ear. Because if you look at the stalk of Pleurotus mushrooms, you will see that the stalk is kind of lateral oriented. It's off to the side, it's not directly underneath like you might see in a portobello mushroom or some of your other store-bought mushrooms. And then pulmonarius means lung. Perhaps this looks like a lung in its early stages of development. Now, as I said, this one's pretty easy to identify, and to help you differentiate between this one and Pleurotus austriatus, that winter oyster mushroom, just notice that this one is growing this time of year. You're not likely to find Pleurotus austriatus, that common oyster mushroom, this time of year. But this one's just as edible, and it's just as delicious, in my opinion. But there are a couple key identifying features to help you positively identify Pleurotus pulmonarius. Number one, it's growing on wood. So make sure that your oyster mushroom is definitely growing on wood. Number two, it's growing in clusters. You can see how many there are right here. There's not just one, there's not just two, but there are a lot of them. You can see right here, the one that I'm holding, there are at least two together, but sometimes you'll find three or four, and they're kind of like shelf-like clusters. Number three, when you look at the underside, you'll see that the gills run down the entire length of the cap, all the way down into the stalk as well. These gills are known as decurrent, and there is no central stalk, so remember that. Number four, and this is a key identifying feature, this one is medium to large size. Many times when people are finding oyster-like mushrooms, they'll be very, very small, and they're not oyster mushrooms whatsoever. So there are a lot of oyster-like mushrooms out there, but generally the true oyster mushrooms are rather large in appearance. So this one's about four inches across. You'll see them much, much smaller, but you'll see them larger as well. But if you're finding an oyster-like mushroom that maximum is half an inch long or an inch long, it's probably not a true oyster mushroom. It could be a look-alike. And the last key identifying characteristic that I'll go over is the spore print. The spore print should be a whitish to a creamish or like a pale lilac color. So go through all those features and you might positively identify an oyster mushroom, specifically Pleurotus pulmonarius, the one growing this time of year. Now what's so special about Pleurotus pulmonarius? Well, when we just look at that genus Pleurotus, we see that worldwide people have been using oyster mushrooms as food and medicine for centuries, if not longer than that. And this one specifically has a lot of good research on it. So researchers published a study in the journal International Journal of Medicinal Mushrooms in 2016, so a very recent study. And what they were doing was they were looking at various extracts and testing the antioxidant properties. They found a lot of antioxidant properties in Pleurotus pulmonaris, but the strongest extract was a water extract, an aqueous extract, something that's very easy for you to make at home. And the antioxidant properties were attributed to a specific compound known as ergothionine. And this is an amino acid that's produced by very few organisms in nature, believe it or not and these organisms would be bacteria and fungi. So we cannot produce this compound, but if we ingest organisms that have this compound, then we will get those antioxidant effects. It's a very potent antioxidant, so perhaps by eating more of this mushroom, we'll get some more of that ergothionine inside of our bodies. And another study in 2014 put out in the journal Nutrition and Cancer found that a water extract, again, something that's very easy to make at home, successfully inhibited the cell proliferation of cancerous cells. And again, this was attributed to the antioxidant properties found within this mushroom. So oyster mushrooms are fantastic fungi, and I encourage you to get out there and look for them and find them. You can find them pretty much all year round. This one specifically, Pleurotus pulmonaris, you're gonna find during the summer months through fall. If you don't find this one, there's a good chance you're gonna find another oyster mushroom. Just go through those features that I described for this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I can help you positively identify perhaps your first 
Oyster Mushroom. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.